penguins best dressed and most laughed at. True. Penguins come into this world dressed to the nines, all formal, and are looked at as some of nature's biggest clowns, man. But, but not not the penguins of Madagascar. Not the penguins of Madagascar. They saying, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you thought you think that zebra's something. You, you yeah. think that giraffe is funny. Oh, that fat ass hippo. Hippo. You think you think she's cute? No, no, no. We we gonna take this shit over. Yeah, yeah, yeah like you know what they are. They're expensive. <laughs> We're voiced by three guys who actually work on the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we you you ain't cost it ain't costing nothing to get us up here. Yeah, it's, it's animators who do the voices for these. They don't need to pay Chris Rock salaries or, right. or, or David Schwimmer. David Schwimmer, which probably can't be that Man, much he right now. Five dollars for Pitt, dude, Madagascar. He ain't doing shit. <laughs> Yeah, he's, wait, he's waiting for a fourth Madagascar. <laughs> now they've kind of overshadowed those other animals in Madagascar, and they got their own thing going, and the penguins of Madagascar. Skipper, Kowalski, Rico, Private, they're all back. You didn't know those names, did you? I did know the names. No, you didn't. <laughs> I anyway. just saw the movie. I know the names. <laughs> well, this time, Martin, they are recruited by the North Wind. And the North Wind is an elite animal task force led by the Grey Wolf Classified, who's voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch. Now, Martin, their mission, now get this, because this is, this is, this is, this is, might be a little complicated. Sure. Their mission is to stop Dave the Octopus, who's voiced by John Malkovich. He's an evil cephalopod who's envious of the penguins, and that drives him to destroy their cuteness so that the world will hate them. And he hopes to achieve this all the while disguised as the human scientist, Dr. Octavius Bryan. <laughs> but some deep shit right there, ain't it? Let me just put this out here for everybody. and Because I, I want full disclosure in this review because I'm, a, I'm an honest critic. Okay. I was hungover as shit watching this oh, movie. Oh, were you man. really? <laughs> man, it was that weekend that those guys came to oh, town. that's right. And, you know, the, the, the Toasties, and they yeah. wanted to take us all out, and they, they rocked my world on... I, that, that night before was free alcohol and strip clubs. Mm-hmm. And I and I didn't go to bed until like five in the morning. Yeah, and had to wake up and watch these goddamn penguins. Yeah, and the whole time I'm watching these penguins, man, I'm hungover, my head is throbbing, and I just and these penguins are just bouncing all over the fucking place, man. They won't shut up. They're yeah. hyper. Yeah, they just go, they're going a mile a minute, and I'm just like I'm I'm, I'm like a parent. I'm just 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 please sit down. Just let daddy have a moment of quiet, <laughs> please. I'm wondering, like, so this is leading to you. Like to where you couldn't enjoy the movie or it made it hard for you or you could see through it. I don't see that's the problem with this because I, I you don't, don't know. I don't know. OK. These penguins here. They got balls, man. Yes, they, they do. They got, you don't see them on. <laughs> they tucked in there. <laughs> they tucked in. They but. tucked in. They probably pulled back in that ass. But they got balls. And I'll tell you why they got balls. They got balls for doing something as stupid as this movie right here. And I just want you to listen to me, people. An octopus named Dave is jealous because the penguins are cuter than him, so he wants to disguise himself as a human being and make the penguins ugly so that he can have his revenge and everybody will hate the penguins and I guess like him better or something. Stupid shit. These penguins in the company that make this movie, DreamWorks, has balls for putting this out there because it makes no... This is stupid. Okay, I, I think that hangover affected you too much. Even for kids, you don't find that just no, like... No, it's... Wow, you just didn't... You didn't make up any kind of story for this. You just put shit together. No, man, it was absurd. Like, like it was fully aware of what it was doing. Like, like the movie constantly lets you know. It winks at you. You go like, yeah, we, 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 know, we know this. And we're going with it because it's funny. Matter of fact, one of the great things about this movie is that like it's got this running gag of these terrible puns that it pops up ever so often. And toward the end, it just goes for it. It's like it's going like so you stop. Yeah, we you know. Stop at puns, man. See, I you know. I don't. <clears throat> it, but the thing is, it's it's one of those where you can go like, oh, that was bad. And it's like it's like yeah. Well, watch us just slide into it full force and go for it. So you like and it's like, wow, that's, that, that's actually cool. Y'all actually do have balls to take, the, take this that far. I, okay, man, I'm sorry you were hungover, but this movie was funny. I can tell when Martin's taking some shit seriously because when I was describing like how I had a hangover and everything, Martin was offended that I wasn't coming in and paying attention to this movie because you the whole time, usually Martin's up there and I'm making a description and talking about something. He's like, yeah, yeah, you what you say. Martin's like, Looking at me all serious and shit. Say another fucking thing about these penguins, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Say one more fucking thing, man. You didn't get this shit. You know what? I, I paid attention. This is true art right here. You were mad about this shit. I want you to do your job correctly. That's all. Puns, man. This is some great right. You didn't hear that shit? I was like, damn, March taking. You were really into this. Man, uh, uh, you can't tell me that it's not a pet peeve of yours when we have somebody review something. They go like, 
I don't know. It's just stupid. And like, what what does that mean? It's just stupid. That's all. I didn't say that. I'm backing my opinions up right here, boy. We. It's funny how some of the it's the dumbest shit. <laughs> it is the we dumbest movie that we, we get getting, Yeah, you're right. This motherfucker he's he's defending these penguins hard too. Like, now you know you know that's not what I'm doing right now. I'm not coming here and just saying this is stupid. I am I'm using that word because yeah, this story to me is stupid. Like they just <laughs> a fucking octopus dressed as a man trying to like destroy penguins. I'm like wow man. You know they knew that they had a good thing with these penguins. They knew that they had a great property and these penguins had great personalities. I like the penguins. Penguins were always the highlights of the movies to me, the yeah. Madagascar movies. Except for maybe that 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 third one which was uh the strongest of all right. of my thing. But, right. but outside of that, the studio knew. All right, we got this. We can make money. It doesn't even matter what the story is as long as the penguins are doing that thing. Story wise, just throw some shit together. That's what mm. I felt like. I'm I'm used to movies like that, and I always feel that way with the Despicable Me movies. And I didn't get that from this at all. You didn't, not no. at all. No, no, no. Um, actually, they because the whole time I'm watching this, I'm like, this is pretty much a Tex Avery cartoon that they've <laughs> they've they've actually pulled off well and had going all the time. They had great timing, great great sight gags. Uh, especially anytime they did an action piece, they they had it really well done with one, one side gag leading into the next. And the more I kept <clears> watching, I was like, they actually got funny gags in here. The good thing about the movie is that it, it is fast paced. Yeah. It's an hour and a half and it's fast paced. And the movie, is, it, it is spitting out jokes like bullets. It is spraying bullets like, like it is spraying uh, jokes out like a machine gun, man. And. You know, you're going to get one of those bullets going to hit you in your ass. Yeah. And you're going to laugh. You know, you're going to get you're going to laugh at one at least one thing in here. Those jokes are so quick and it's coming from all the penguins and all the side characters too. So everybody's kind of getting their moment to come in and get a funny one in too. It's just not always about the penguins. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go do some shopping for revenge. <laughs> Wait. How He's giggling at this. He loves this. Look at him. <laughs> Is it the red or? I thought it was. The... It's not this. Oh, that's it. Shit, I thought you coming back. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, wait, what is, I know. what else you got to say? Next? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was sitting still like the animals right there. I was just like, where is it? <laughs> has some great animation in it. I mean the. The way they animated the, the the Dave character, the the octopus that you saw right here, uh, when he's in his human form, it's uh, they animate him like swirling around and swirling everywhere, and it's actually really funny. The designs of the characters are really cool, and like I said, I think all these characters have enough personality that where they're all kind of carrying the movie. It, it's yeah, like they actually thought about each one of them. I, I, I believe kids are gonna love this. I think kids are gonna have a lot of fun because it's silly. You know, maybe that's the word I should use instead of stupid. To me, it's a stupid story, but it's silly enough where kids are, kids don't give a fuck. Shit, this is the kind of this is the kind of shit that kids write. You know, his octopus got mad and was gonna change the penguin to look ugly, and everybody gonna hate him. You know, kids write that kind of shit, so they'll relate to this. I like Martin's looking at me like, man, this is literature. Why are you defending? No, I'm, I'm you looking, don't take I'm anything like, I'm saying about because this because it's it's like it's it's absurdist, it's parody, and somehow you're missing that. Going, like, it's just stupid. I don't. Th- I was. Cr- what do you think I'm dumb? <laughs> Jesus, boy, you were in love with this fucking penguin right here. Hey, man, it, it was a good movie. And you're sitting over here shitting on it just because you weren't feeling good. I could tell you were mad because it's funny how we start these reviews because I, I say some shit that I have in mind. I think, man, Mark going to be laughing at this. <laughs> and the moment I came out and said, man, these penguins are stupid, and Mark's like, man, let me talk about the penguins. Like that, man. <laughs> man, come on now. You, you disrespecting. You disrespecting. I was like, God. And when I saw it on your face, and I was man, like, we- this Negro's about to get serious we've seen a lot of movies lately that was supposed to be funny and we're so the opposite of that so the fact that this one actually got me to genuinely laugh gives me a fondness for it maybe so yeah you leave them goddamn penguins alone (laughs) shit (laughs) won't you get up there (laughs) this penguin was looking at us fighting like yes (laughs) keep going yes (laughs) fight (laughs) (laughs) can't believe i said i'm i'm being complimentary look i i I was saying I think the kids will love it, man. That's a compliment. Uh-huh. I, and I'm, I'm going to stick by what I'm saying because the reason why I have to make that distinction between kids and, and adults watching this is because I think a lot of adults, obviously not your grown ass, but I think that a lot of adults are going to go into this and they're not 
going to be as entertained as you are. They're going to be sitting up there and they're going to be tired like me. It's going to be early in the day. They're going to be like, I could be home watching a goddamn game instead of watching this with your little ass. I would say most adults are not going to show up at 10 in the morning hungover to see this movie. Can I tell you something? And I'm not, I'm, this, I'm not fucking joking here. I play some of this while we're talking. And every time I stop, it freeze frames on that penguin I watching know. us doing this debate. <laughs> now tell me I'm lying. I know, no, you're right. <laughs> tell me I'm lying. I've been playing this shit. You saw it playing every time I, and I'm not even doing it. I've been looking you in the eye, I right? I know, I know. It's almost like this fucking clip right here is just watching us argue. <laughs> yeah, Martin, you tell him. <laughs> Cheesy dibbles, <yes. laughs> so To me, it was almost like being with your drunk friend at the end of the night and you're tired. <laughs> you are tired, and but they keep their hyper and they keep going. Oh, but, so it's like me hanging out with you. So I have to be fair because I understand how it is for you now. <laughs> I'm your penguin. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I so I did sit back and some of the movie I, I was able to soak in and realize I know what who the, what the audience is for. I do realize the strengths of the humor, and I do I do appreciate uh, as you say the absurdity of it. I do know it's being absurdist, and I and and if I could just say one last thing, this is probably something personal with me, okay? Because I'm having a little bit of a flashback here, because unless it would. I'm getting flashbacks of my time as a kid. Okay. When I would go see movies like this, and my father would have to take me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and sometimes he'd take me to see a cartoon that was so stupid. He, you know, Papa Coleman, he didn't, he didn't handle no nonsense. He, he did not suffer fools like he did not be <laughs> much less a penguin. <laughs> And I and I see those times that he had he my mother forced him to take me to see a cartoon and he sat there the whole time and just looked at me and said I hate you <laughs> I fucking hate this kid <laughs> and maybe I'm projecting that a little too bit too much you know okay. on the adults when I see this I get this a, a matinee this movie to me is more frantic than absurd okay. I thought I would get bored with this, and I don't know. I I never did. I was I was kind of amazed by how they were able to keep going. I I give it I give it a, a a very high matinee. I mean, it's not quite a full price. Like I couldn't tell everybody, like, man, go see this. You're gonna love it. But if you like the Madagascar movies, I don't see how you couldn't like it. It's not a bad movie. It's not a bad movie. I, matinee, matinee. Damn, my, uh oh. The ghost of Willie Coleman. Boy, you know that's some bullshit. <laughs> Boy, you know that's some bullshit. Quit lying. Why you dragging me to this? I, I whoop your ass. Damn, I hate you, son. I hate your ass. I, I knew I should have wore cotton. <laughs> that's all it would have taken. I wouldn't be sitting here right now. <laughs> <laughs>